Hey you right guys, Trophy Reacts here and today we are watching and reacting to episode 16 of Gilmore Girls Season 4. The last episode was a really good episode, actually, actually a great episode, I think one of the best that the season's done. We just kind of started off doing Gilmore Girls stuff, which we all love, and then it just kind of turned into an Emily episode. Uh, nor I am Emily episode, I'd say, which obviously I'm going to be a fan of. So uh, yeah, that kind of last scene with her not actually being able to speak to him like she called... Like she, th I thought she was going to because of what Lorelai said. It kind of felt like maybe she was going to take that advice that Lorelai had given her, but no. So yeah, hopefully they keep that story going because I am interested in that. Or maybe not this episode, but I don't want it to just like be that it. I want them to keep doing what they're doing with this. So because they left it for like five episodes to kind of bring this back up with Emily, which I think is fine. But it's like now let's keep the let's keep it going. Let's keep the story going. So episode sixteen. If you enjoy, make sure to leave a like because it does help the video and it does help the channel. And Patreon is linked down below. If you do want to join us over on there, then Patreon will be quite a few episodes into season five by the time this one's on YouTube. So I'll let you know exactly which episode down below in like say the pinned comment and description. But for now, guys, let's do this. Sweetie. Sweetie who? Mm. Sweetie Nelson, one of my oldest friends. She passed away yesterday. Oh, I'm sorry, Grandma. Oh. Yeah, I've heard you mention her. That's she a rip. No, her name was Melinda. Sweetie was a nickname. Why? What do you mean, why? I mean, <laughs> how'd they get Sweetie from Melinda? They didn't get Sweetie mm. from Melinda. Sweetie is a nickname. Yeah, sometimes the nick... But to, to be fair, how... Do, yeah, let's hear the story. She was sweet. That's the story. Okay. <laughs> okay. She had a very well. sweet nature. Hmm. <laughs> well, what kind of story did you want, Laura? Uh, yeah, no, well, that's fine. She was sweet. I get, I get what Laura is saying. It's a good story. No, really. Exactly. What kind of story about my recently departed friend would amuse you? No, it's not to <laughs> amuse me. It's... All right, fine. Sweetie's father was a very poor man. So mm. poor that Sweetie and her four siblings all had to sleep in a hollowed out tree trunk because the house <laughs> wasn't big enough for their parents. <laughs> Uh, you walked into this one, Lorelai, I'm afraid. Paper ...and walked 40 miles in the snow to the nearest town where she stumbled into a candy store. No <laughs> one took pity on her and gave her bags of candy and, uh, pickle and drove her back to her family. He promptly offered a job to her father who gladly accepted and eventually owned that store and turned it into one of the... <laughs> wretched most. And that is how she got the name Sweetie. There, how was that? Now, Very that was right off the story. top of the head. Sorry, Emily, did you say the funeral is Sunday? Yes. Is that a problem? Well, do you have, like, well, golf or something? Town, and Jason has set up golf for him, and then there's lunch. You're not ditching Emily to go and play golf. Are you? <laughs> ah, let's hear. After that. Um... What time is the service? Noon. Oh, noon, noon. Oh, noon, 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 noon. Golf goes off for ten hours. How important need to be at the funeral? Not important at all. Well, fine. Rich! Be sure to give them my condolences. Of course. Eat your food. Oh, my, I think one it's of them It's not still about alive. being there. Oh, no, seriously. Oh. He was over near the oh. like five minutes ago. Oh. <laughs> Bro, he doesn't get it at all. Yeah. Rich. Um. All right. Let's mute the intro for a minute. Right, my guy. My guy, my guy. It ain't about... Being there for the family is about being there for Emily, please. Her best friend just died. <laughs> and he's going, he wants to play golf. Oh, he wants to play golf. Oh, dear. Oh, no. I'm done with that man. I'm done with Richard. I'm fully done. I was mostly done, but he could have brought it back around. Now I'm, I'm done. I'm done with Richard. He's down there with Jackson. Down there with Jackson. You know, if Emily was a ball fest, I really wouldn't actually care if he was married to his mum or something. But he's married to Emily, and I'm, I'm done with it. Right. I need something with cheese. More like <gasps> eggs. Mm, not today, Kirk. Hey, where's Luke? Not today, uh, maybe I tomorrow. I want him to make that breakfast quesadilla thing he made yesterday. I need something with cheese. Does Kirk still have a girlfriend? Well, it looks like a serious talk. And there have been zero And Nicole still has... I wish I knew what they were existence. talking about. Okay. Oh, I can tell you what they're saying. How? I read lips. My girlfriend taught me. Thank you for answering that. That's great. Okay, <laughs> she just said hardwood sponges the authority of the hostile biographer, and then he responded just phone cords to original samovars. Kirk, that doesn't make any sense. Yeah, that must mean they're onto us and they've switched to some sort of code. <laughs> you know, he actually thinks that as well. Thing back, he just got up and said, "Feel your taters." Or is it possible he said, "I'll see you later"? No, I'm pretty sure about this one. Kirk, I'm so sorry. We accidentally <laughs> made the eggs in the fish pan. Here's new eggs. I don't know why everybody in this town always thinks I'm crazy. <laughs> I know you're the only sane one here. Not plagiarism. Hey. 
We also like to shout fire in a crowded theater. This is a newsroom. Do not use the P word. Every single word of my piece was written by me. Was it? Look at this. Small band of followers. Rain-soaked highway. I've seen both of those before. Of course you've seen them before. Those are phrases used to highway. talk about a small band of followers. Or, yeah, I don't you know, know if that's plagiarism. Highway. They're not even cliches, like shouting fire in a crowded theater. <laughs> I'm sorry, can you say Stephen Glass? I'd rather not have Tobey Maguire playing me in a movie about the Yale Daily News scandal. Thank you very much. You do actually give a bit of Tobey Maguire vibes. The hair is the hair. It's been whacked at the newspaper so many times this month, it almost makes me miss my mother. Doyle's just in a bad mood. Almost. That's herd mentality? Are you freaking kidding me? Did you put the word and as well? There's other th things that have the word and in. Oh my god. Now, does the red light mean it's programmed? Oh, uh, Laureline's sucky. Good now then. I mean, I guess it would have been a couple of weeks, so that makes sense. <laughs> Look at that one strut. Wow. You know you're a pretty girl, don't you? Yes, with those. I'm kind of not surprised he loves that so Did much. Do tricks? Sounds like they're turning them. Hello? Laureline's me. Do you have a moment? Uh, Ooh. sure. Your grandmother. She's gone. What? Dead. Last night. Dead. I had a heart attack. The maid found her in the morning. Oh my god. I didn't even know her heart was a thing. Oh my god, is she dead? Thing? Did we know that? No, it was quite unexpected. There was oh my god. All. We just we just saw her. I know. It's She's dead. Oh. Is she joking? How, how's dad? He's completely fallen apart. Are you telling the truth? Almost incoherent. Oh, no. oh my god. He's in his office now with the scotch and he wants turtleneck soup. This is a really bad joke or it's like the best news of the show? Apparently something his mother used to have made for him when he was a little boy. Is that her in that urn? Round of applause for death. Thank god that monstrosity has bit the bu d bullet dust. One of the one of them. Don't kill off Richard. I'm not that I'm not that against Richard, but you can kill Jackson off. Tell Rory. Yeah, I'll tell Rory. <laughs> All right, I have to go. Your grandmother left very specific instructions on exactly how she wants her funeral to be. Hopefully it's just throwing the coffin into a bin. I'm gonna have to go. No problem. One huge vat of mock turtle soup coming up. I'm putting that as a plus. Um, positive for the episode so far. The grandma is dead. And then thank God. Oh my God, Richard, get up. <laughs> hey, Dad. No one's shouting oh, it here, hey. Richard, Soup's I'm gone. sorry. Is there, everyone on Patreon was like, you're going to love episode 16, is this why? <laughs> uh, regret. What regret? Dad, you and Gran were so close. The last words we exchanged, we exchanged in anger. Oh, it was the dinner table. I, well, I lost my yeah, temper. that kind of sucks, but... And I was disrespectful. It was hard to not talk in anger to her surely one little fight between you and gran doesn't wipe away years of that woman raised me and she taught me that would suck though and she took care of the family even after father died if it was anyone else and i spoke to her as if i owed her nothing as if she was like anyone else in the world and not the saint of a woman that she was she wasn't a saint she was a beast i'm right here richard what's wrong Oh, no. Outrageous. They've completely ruined it. Who ruined what? Trix's obituary. The current just faxed it through. It's disgraceful. Uh, oh, I'll is it? Them. Just calm yeah, down. Okay, go on. Let's hear it. Lorelai Gilmore died this week at age 86, okay, a member of the well, prominent Gilmore family and widow of Charles Abbott. Are they all called Lorelai? I don't know. That's all they write? Nothing well, about her charity work or her collecting or her travels? And not a word about the new maternity wing that she donated to St. Joseph's? I don't believe that for a minute. Right, all right, calm down. We will take care of it. She was a saint, that woman. I no, know, she, absolutely. No. We will make sure it's a saint <laughs> somewhere in the article. You sure? I am sure. Emily, just, Emily's like, nope. Probably take off then. Goodbye. Thanks, Suki, for me. Uh, no, thank you to Lorelai. <laughs> it's just like the little things. It's like, thanks, Suki, but don't say thanks to Lorelai. Lorelai, I have to go to Grand's house tomorrow to sort through her personal papers. Two cherry Danish coming up. Yes, I would like to leave a message. Uh, Lorelai's a saint. There you go. There's an actual saint. Hello? He's watching hey, Pretty Little Lies. Nigella just made a raising. Oh, Nigella. Oh my god, I used to have the biggest crush on Nigella. Used to, still do, but when I was like 10. He's about to deep fry a bounty bar. I want to move in with her and call her mommy. Do you mind? Honey, I, I have to tell you something. You sound sad. Yeah, well, Gran died. 
What? When? Last night, she had a heart attack. Don't celebrate too soon, Rory. What should I do? Can I do something? No, it's all being taken care of. When's the funeral? Friday, and there's a wake after. I don't remember if you have a class. It doesn't matter. I'll make it work. Okay. Look at that. Drops why she needs to do like that, which Richard can't do. I feel like I should be crying. Well, you, you didn't know her that well. Still, she was my great-grandmother. I mean, I should feel more. Oh, God, what if I don't cry at the funeral? Then everyone will see that I'm not crying. Okay, let's overthink. <laughs> do you want me to come by tonight? Pick you up? Take you to Tijuana? Get you drunk and laid? That's okay. I've got too much work <laughs> to do. Okay. Well, that'll be an episode. Like, what a shock. Another incoherent legal document. Hand it to me. God. Collecting is just pointless, isn't it? Because it just ends up like this. Grandmother is to have an open casket ceremony displayed in all her glory, then is to be cremated oh, and have oh, her ashes yeah. divided in two. Half to be buried with her husband in the family crypt, and the of other course. half to be put in an urn and placed on our mantelpiece. Oh, so cute. Staring at me, judging me, disapproving of me. So apparently it's top <laughs> half. When I first found out, I almost had a coronary. <laughs> Oh, fair enough. What was her maiden name? Gilmore. No, no, her maiden name. Gilmore. W wait, y y you're not saying... She and Charles were second cousins. Ew, what? Oh, what don't act hell? so scandalized. It was not at all uncommon for prominent families... Yeah, she wasn't uncommon, to be fair. Bloodlines close? Is that what we're calling it? Well, what would you call it? Oh, Still I don't grim, know. But... How about Good Morning Appalachia? <laughs> I got a mighty cute sister and an extra set of toes. No one has any <laughs> extra toes. I have a double-jointed mm. thumb. Remarkable. Use it to hand me some more papers, please. <laughs> that dialogue's the best. So okay with this. I mean, what did they just go? What a cute couple. They look so much alike. Maybe. Mom? Oh, well, this now. is to your father. My dearest Richard, it is with heavy heart that I write you this letter tonight. Uh -huh. But I cannot stand by and let you make a terrible mistake. Until now, I had thought, hoped, prayed that you would come to the same conclusion well, that I have. Only, but you it? have not, and therefore I feel it is my duty as your mother to no. beg you to reconsider no. your impending marriage. <gasps> I'm sure that Emily is a very suitable woman for someone, but oh not for you. She will not be able to make you happy. Imagine. The Gilmore stamina or spark. She is simply not a Gilmore. Well, sure, because you weren't directly related to him. <laughs> <laughs> Rounding your breakup with Kennel and Lot, but it is still my belief oh, that she is much better God. suited for you than Emily. I know that the timing of this is particularly no! or to be married tomorrow. No way! But your happiness is too important to me, so timing be damned. Oh she wanted God. Dad to leave you at the altar. <laughs> That's tragic. That woman is horrendous. Oh, can I see that? I can't believe this. I'm standing here in her basement, covered in dust. Take a shit on everything, that's what I'd do. And all this time, she never even wanted me in her family. Man, she sure used a lot of exclamation points. Well, fine. That's <laughs> just fine, because there I Here she goes, am revenge done. mode. Done? I'm done planning and running around and calling people. I'm done with anything having to do with that woman. But Good. Dad. Skipped my best friend's funeral to golf. That's what Ooh. your dad did. Mom, we have to plan Tell this. Him. Find a box, throw her in, we're done. <laughs> I'm with Emily, let's go. It's in a ditch, let a wolverine eat her. <laughs> but see, uh, finding a wolverine near a ditch, that takes planning. Do whatever you want, I'm gonna have a drink. Would you like a drink? I can't do it, Mom. Let's go drink with Emily. The system. Hell yeah, Emily's had enough, finally. <sighs> I cannot believe that story. Yeah, well, trust me, the brother's grim... I thought Richard gets off his arse and does something. And she just walked out? Yep. Wild idea, I know. I know his mom just died, but still. <laughs> so cruel. So completely cruel that I'm kind of wondering if Gran didn't know Mom was going to find it. Stop. It's too mean. That's kind of true as well, but... Mm. You know what Gran's maiden name was? What? Gilmore. Grandpa Charles was her second cousin. No! Yes. What does that mean about us? Maybe Dean's in the family. Gran requested that she be buried in fresh clothing. What is fresh clothing? I don't know. Clean clothing? Clothes... Just go to Primark and get some, like... Marvel pajamas. Hello. Oh my god. Oh, because that was not. <laughs> oh. Mom, Dad. Jesus. Look at all this stuff. When I die, no one's gonna care this much. Even though every single one of my patrons sent flowers when I died. I'm just saying, guys. Tilda to take the day <laughs> off. Nothing's happening here. Oh, I think. Oh, iconic, Emily. Let's go. All those. Just put those anywhere. I have to finish reading the crimson petal and the white for my book club. Suki! What a pleasant surprise. What are you doing here? I brought Suki oh so God. she could check what equipment she's going to need for the wake. And who the hell are you? Uh, I'm going to her best life. Drinking and smoking. Would you like a cigarette? No, thank you. Well then, more for me. 
I think she broke. <laughs> Mom, what's no, going on? No, I love on? it. I, I'm More of this. Go to the kitchen. More. Mom, Lorelai, please, I'm reading. Uh, okay. If you're going by the bar, my drink could use a little freshening up. Your drink is fresh enough. And put that cigarette out. No, don't. I think Emily should smoke a spliff. I think Emily should get high for a whole lap. That'd be that'd be the best episode, but that's not going to happen. Oh my god. Oh, Jason. Richard, I am I'm so sorry to hear. Oh. <laughs> cool. <laughs> <laughs> at the door. I, I know how hurt you are. That letter was terrible, but there's still a lot of stuff that has to get done. So? Oh, you're right. Say. I'm I with Emily. Why don't you call Penelon Lott and have her plan the funeral? Literally, I don't give a fuck. Like, you read a note like that. I'm, I don't care. It's going to be okay to set up a buffet in the dining room? I don't know. What do you think Pendle and Lot would do? You think she'd set it up in the dining room? Because personally, I think we should just toss some cheese cubes in the coffin, stuff some toothpicks in her mouth, and let the people go to town. Is she serious? The dining room's fine, Susie. Probably is serious. Good. I think put her ashes in a dog poo bag and put the poo bag in the toilet. And flush and see what happens then. Probably block the toilet, but I can't do funerals. You have to do funerals. This was your partner's mother. I understand, but funerals have way too much emotion for me. The death and the hugging. Are you serious? God, everyone in this is bloody useless, aren't they? Name one man in this show that actually steps up. Completely freaked me out. Okay, fine. Don't come, but you had better lie to my father and Kirk. tell him you did. I am very comfortable with that compromise. Give my condolences to your family. Everyone else is useless. Jess is useless. Dean was pretty useless. Uh, Richard's useless. Jason's useless. I, I'll give a pass to Luke because he's always been kind of just easy breezy and he's not married to Lorelai yet so he can't. Luke would be there though. No, but did you know that she took care of wounded soldiers that were shipped back here during World War II? Yeah, and they probably hated it. They probably would have rather have died. Love that she wanted something, so I gotta go. Hi, Doyle. Hey, did you read the typo in the New York Times today? This is personal. Yes, yes it is. You're using newspaper resources to work on something personal. I'm looking something up for a friend. The professor didn't give me enough time. Doyle's useless as well. I was just browsing well. through the archives and I got distracted. My grandmother is dead. Oh. And I'm just trying to give her an obituary that is fitting for the great woman that she was. Yeah, brilliant woman, brilliant. My grandmother died in December and it was... I'm still not over it. Well, was she a human being? Oh, don't sit on the desk. Last week, you know what I did? What? No. I picked up the phone to call her. Isn't that sad? I actually forgot. Rory's thinking, like, I don't want to do that at all, so... Yeah. You smell the little like coffee. I still can't walk past any place that makes coffee. Oh. The girl I was dating was a barista. I had to break up with her. We weren't that <laughs> close. <laughs> what? And it, it wasn't... Wow, you broke so quick. I dropped the grate to make the whole thing sound sadder. I, I don't know anything about her until today. Um, I'm so sorry. She broke so quickly. Go straight to hell now. My grandmother was a very special woman. She drove me to my prom, and I'd be a poor man if I'd never known her. <laughs> Finish the obituary. What? What? Well, everybody should get to know their grandmother. Oh, and it was her great-grandmother, didn't you hear? <laughs> this guy is confused. Oh, and Nicole and Luke. And Coke sound the same place as it was oh, at the Kirk, start. Oh, good, good. Yeah. I've been... Shh. What are we listening to? Again? Yep. God. Who needs to order? I do. Go ahead. I'm working. We were having a discussion and you just got up and left. I thought we were done. I was in the middle of the word September. <sighs> okay, come on. <laughs> Fun. Okay, go ahead. We were in the middle of a conversation. Well, we were yelling about. it was a fight. We were let's talk, we're here, let's talk. You don't want to talk. I don't have anything to say. Cool. Yeah. Me either. Oh, you, you know, I don't care. I really actually don't. Nicole's so boring. Who cares? Did she fart? Might have been a shoe hitting the stone. It was one or the other. God. That needs to end, like, last season. Mom, there you are. Yes. Hey, you look very nice. I brought a dress to change into. <laughs> oh, what you're wearing is fine. <laughs> Mom, you, you might want to go get ready now. Nonsense, we have hours. 
Want a drink? Today I learned how to make mojitos. <laughs> Today especially, you might want. Oh God, I love it so much. Put on a dress, a black dress. Oh, she's kind of more like this sometimes, down. actually. Okay, cool. That's what makes it so much better now. I guess she learned how to make mojitos. She don't understand, guys. I, I delivered Grant's clothes to the funeral home, but I forgot to include underwear. Grant's going commando. Oh no. Oh wow, I'll have fun. To go buy some. Well. Yeah, wait a minute. Who's gonna know? Well, I'll know. Just stay here. Keep an eye on your grandpa. I'll be right back. La 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 la. Get some lingerie. This um whole section is bloody hell. It's like I'm a lush. Any particular style? Something respectable, upstanding. You got anything that came over on the Mayflower? We have this whole line. <laughs> Did she just laugh at herself? I think Lorelai stopped herself from laughing at herself. That's great. Uh, Bloody she's hell. She's tiny, but strong. She looks like she could take a punch. Do all the all the planning now, because my mother found the note. <sighs> the stupid note. Ah, oh, silly billy note. Standing in underwire heaven, just babbling like a crazy person. No, 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 no. I should just pick something, because, I mean, what difference does it make? She's dead, you know? The woman is dead. She can't... Is she actually dead, though? We haven't seen the corpse yet. Um, that's a small. Hello, she's dead. The woman is dead. She can't tell if it's the right size. She wanted fresh clothes, and I'm here buying her fresh clothes. <laughs> she's just picked that up. Like. She can rise from the dead and come back here and yell at me herself. Because you know what? If anyone could, that tough, old, crazy, wonderful broad would be <laughs> the one. You take Visa, right? God. Hey, I think I hear a bit. The suit I wore when we buried my father, I was never able to wear it again. Just brand new, very nice suit. Custom made. It's my first custom made suit. I told your grandmother that it didn't fit anymore, but really I just didn't want to see it again. Thus forever. Hopefully your dad was better than your mum was. Something happens and I find myself, let us say, a tad more emotional than I would like. I got your back, Grandpa. <sighs> oh, I like that scene. That was like Richard's best scene in about a season and a half, maybe. No, actually when he hyped up Emily. That was good. Nice job with you, Luigi Gilmore. Well, well, I've always found that a well-tied bow tie can have a very steadying effect. Richard, she was a hell of a lady. Mm. Hell is the right word. Oh, how's he doing? Not bad. He's holding it together, partly because all these people are here, but I think he's doing <laughs> That woman just stood at the back. So, what did you think of Grand's oh, fabulous I'm fresh walk. clothing? I thought it was very sophisticated. They're oh, waiting for that cue. Dragging poor Charles around Egypt. <laughs> the man detested Sam. Oh my god, she's been reincarnated. Yeah, she just looks like her. Is that a sister? I don't there know. she is. More life. Come here and say hello to your father's favorite cousin. Hi, Marilyn. <gasps> look at the you. Hell? You look just like your picture. You know, your grandmother had this picture of you right smack dab in the middle of her entryway. You would walk in the door, she would point to the picture, and she would say, This is my granddaughter Lorelei. She's not married. Oh, that's oh, a terrific story. Yeah, you that's are brilliant. stunning. My God. <laughs> that's a terrific story. Thrilled to meet you both. Horrible circumstances, I suppose. Mm -hmm. Anyway, angels. I know Tell me, when you were last over at your grandmother's house, did you possibly notice some darling little bar glasses? Bar oh, glasses? it's her. Oh, with this little the golden thief. pattern. Well, it was lovely service. You did a wonderful job. It's the same bloody woman, no? Oh, it seems like we're hitting that age now, aren't we? Where we're going to be going to a lot of these things. Mm. Trying to invest in a second black suit, I suppose. Well, last few may be one of my favorite subjects right now. Second cousin. Gotta go. <laughs> Wait, I'll come with you. Oh, brilliant. Second cousin. <laughs> I'm Lorelai Gilmore. Uh, didn't I just bury you? No, Reverend. Um, I'm the one who talked to you on the phone. Maybe. And I picked you up from the airport. Oh, really? Yeah. That was a different Lorelai. This is her granddaughter. This is the reigning Lorelai. But she's Lorelei. bloody black. Oh, nice. And who are you? This is Grand's niece. Oh, yeah, right, right, right. You remember me from when I was young. You married me to my first. That's my Reverend impression. I mean, that's somewhat on a mind. Is that woman at the back frozen? How are you holding up? Nope, no mind. My feet are killing me. How's the rest of you? The rest of me. The rest of me is fine. Oh, well, you know, Mom, she may have written that letter, but he picked you. Barely. Have you eaten? Oh, yes. 
Every five minutes, it seems, a young man would show up at my side with a tray of food. You're doing, I suppose. Could be. Yeah, because she's always looking out there. for you. That's better. So I've been thinking. Go yes. on. I'm not so sure the mantle is the best place for Grand's ashes. What? The ledge is too small. Wouldn't really be appropriate. But her wishes. Being buried with my father. Oh, all of her. Right. Don't you agree? All right, Richard. Whatever you want, Richard. I think he's doing that for Emily. Thank God he's doing something for her. I am now the reigning Lorelei. Huh, I guess you are. Mm. It's a lot of responsibility. <laughs> well, sure. I mean, it's mostly ceremonial stuff nowadays, declaring knighthoods, opening supermarkets. But now and then, you get to banish someone or pose for a stamp. Neat. And coins. Yeah, and coins. <laughs> uh, oh, what if Lorelei dies in the last step? <clears throat> we have a time skip. No, they won't do that. Uh, they died. Again, they died on this. Excellent. So, yeah, very good episode. You guys were right. <laughs> you're like, you're gonna love the next episode. It's like, it's either because it had a lot of Emily in, or because that beast of a woman died. <laughs> it's one or the other. So, uh, yeah, but I really did enjoy this episode, which is interesting because it's one of the lower rated ones I think of the season. Actually, I remember clocking that after I did the. Oh no, it's not seventy six percent, which is a decent rating. But I think usually, okay, that's the lowest rating since. Ep 12, which wasn't that long ago. And then Ep 10 was quite low down, but I did give that one a 6, so that makes sense. Okay, it's not like the lowest rated, and it's still fairly rated. I still think these eps are... Uh, like, last episode was a 78%, this one's 76. I'd give this one another... I'd give the last one a 8.5. I'd say... Maybe around the same, maybe a little bit less. I think the last episode was a tiny bit better. Uh, but this one really worked for me as well, just because it was fun seeing Emily kind of give up on that woman. She is dead, which is great. We're getting off to a great start with the episode. But then Emily kind of reading the letter, which would suck. Imagine actually finding that um, and then just kind of doing a thing, getting drunk and smoking. That was like a really good scene. Um, so, yeah, I know it's about like the ways in which Emily's kind of looking out for Richard. And I know Richard had his moment at the end where he did kind of have his way of looking out for her by not putting the grandma on the mantelpiece, but by God, he has to step it up. And again, I hope he, don't just, he doesn't get just let off the hook now for being lazy. Let's not forget that the first scene of this episode was Richard being like, I can't come to your best friend's wedding because I have golf on Sunday. Let's not forget that. That is horrendous. So, um, <laughs> that aside, uh, really great episode for everyone, I think, involved. Rory was really good. Uh, Lorelai was amazing, of course. Luke and Nicole need to break up. I know we had a little bit of them too. Not too much, but they had a couple of scenes, so they need to get gone at this point. But yeah, really great episode. Like I say, the last one was an 8.5. I think this was almost as good, so we'll go an 8.3 or something out of 10 for this one. Thanks for watching, guys. Leave a like if you enjoyed. Let me know what the episode down below in the comments, and I'll see you next time for episode 17. Until then, take care. Peace.